feeling very inspired by fall tones and fall dramatic makeup looks. It's about the only time of the year where I love a good warm orange eye. So today I wanted to do kind of a get ready with me fall look. I feel like I'm wearing a fall outfit today. So yeah, let's just do a fall get ready with me. Testing some new products as well as some products that I'm familiar with. So let's start off with skin prep. I'm excited because today's video is in partnership with It Cosmetics. I'm just going to be sharing some of my favorite products that I think are great for every day, especially for the fall while our skin is starting to dry out a little bit. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with the Bye Bye Dark Spots. This is a serum that's going to help with dark spots on the skin. For me, it's mostly acne scars. Pretty lucky right now, not gonna lie, I don't have as many, but I do like to use serums like this to kind of help. So I'm just gonna apply like four to five dots, not too many. I'm gonna apply a little bit more along the jawline because that's where I get most of my acne scars. But I am starting to dive into the world of it skincare products because I already know their complexion products were amazing, but this skincare as well, I feel like they do a really good job on. And this surprisingly has a really great moisturizing feel because a lot of times I expect with like dark spot serums for them to be drying, but this one actually feels quite hydrating. And then before any makeup, especially in the winter and in colder months, you want to hydrate your skin very well. And I am going to go in with the fuller coverage base. So I'm going to start off with the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. I've talked about this in a previous video. They recently supercharged it, reformulated it, and it's super duper hydrating. It's a great moisturizer and I really enjoy it before makeup. So I'm just going to go ahead and massage this into the skin. It Cosmetics is having their sale where you are going to be able to get 30% off site wide from November. 20th to the 28th. Also happy that I can tell you about a code that's really awesome. So if you use the code MAGIC35 at checkout, you're able to get 35% off your entire purchase. So again, another good option. There's lots of deals happening right now with this time of year. So I wanted to share that with you. So it's a great time to stock up on any skincare that you've been wanting. Of course, the CC creams are very popular and I'm using a few other cosmetic products today as well that might be of interest to you. I'm gonna let this soak in for a few minutes and I'm going to apply the It Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. Again, this is gonna make your concealer looks so much better and more hydrated throughout the day so I do recommend using some type of eye cream at the beginning of your day before your makeup application. It just looks like this and hydration is the number one thing before your makeup routine that you should be doing. Even if you're an oily girl, still hydrate, still moisturize and then of course you know use the primers that you need to use but especially in the winter, our skin is going to start drying out a bit more. And I remember in the winter, especially when I was living in Maryland, when the cold, dry winter would come, my skin would be so dry, it would literally be painful. So using products like these are going to help stop that from happening. Yeah, I think hydration, skin prep is good. We're ready to move on to the foundation. Now, this is not a new product to me, but I'm trying it again a few years later. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. If you watch my channel, you know how I feel about the Born This Way concealer, Chef's Kiss. And I used to really enjoy this in college, but I've tried a lot more makeup since then, and you know, a lot of my opinions have changed. And Too Faced sent this to me in the mail, and I was like, I want to try you again and see if you're just as good as I remember, because I did declutter this because I got old. I was, I graduated college in 2018, so yeah. I picked up the shade Light Beige, and I'm gonna go ahead and use the It Cosmetics number seven brush. I have been loving this. I mentioned it recently in my favorites video because it's so good for concealer, foundation, doesn't leave anything streaky. This shade is like maybe a hint, like a half a shade too deep for me, but that's okay. I can look a little more tan. I'm not complaining, but this is a shade that I used in college, so I was definitely going too dark then. I feel like this foundation was so popular a few years ago, and then obviously it exited my collection. So when I saw this from Too Faced in the mail, I was so excited to try it again and see if it was still worth the hype. 
all these years later and I have to say I feel like it looks pretty nice not the most smoothing foundation that I've ever used but it's sitting on the skin really pretty I feel like it's got a nice skin like finish to it a decent medium coverage we'll see how it wears but I did like this foundation quite a lot a few years back so so far so good I'm just gonna let that settle in just the order that I like to do things let's move into eyebrows I got a package of some amazing eyebrow products from lawless sent to me so I'm gonna give these lawless shape up soft fill brow pencils a try and see what we think they look really good and I love the packaging so I'm debating oak or teddy bear they look kind of the same to me let's go with oak Here's what the tip is looking like. It's a little crooked, <laughs> but it's not the smallest tip, but that's okay. If it's like a drier formula, I think I'll like it. And then the most important part for me is it has a spoolie. Very, very important. Okay, so I'm going to use the corner. Okay, so it applies oops, a little bit more pigment than I personally prefer down right away. So it's a little bit creamier which some of you might like, but that's not to my preference. But while it applies creamier, it doesn't look creamy on the eyebrow, which is good. You know, it doesn't look thick or anything. It doesn't apply too much pigment. I just am using quite a light hand, and it's laying down the color very easily. This is a good color for me. Let's see how it blends. I'm brushing up. Okay, so it has a decent blend. I don't want it to overblend because then it makes the eyebrows look pretty unnatural. Not mad at that. And then I'm doing some upwards hair like strokes. Then again, brush up. Okay, so for my preference, and this is just a preference thing, I find the pencil overblends a little too much because I like to keep a little bit of the definition from the line, and when I blend it out, it kind of disappears, so I'm trying to blend with a really light hand. So for me, this is a decent pencil. It's not bad at all. It's just not my favorite in the world. There are some little tweaks I would make for it to be more to my taste, but it's personal, obviously. And then, of course, I feel like my eyebrows just need a little more than just a fill. I like to draw specific hairs and it's just a bit too thick of a tip for me. But if I described characteristics of an eyebrow pencil that you might like, I, I think this is a good product. And then we also have this Lawless Hold Up Soft Set Creamy Brow Wax. I'm going to use the shade light medium and let's see what kind of hold this has. It is tinted. I don't normally like tinted brow gels, but we'll see. It has a little spoolie like this. And I'm just going to brush my brows a little bit up. I need to really trim my brows. They're getting too long. They seem to have a decent hold, but still kind of like a natural feel to them where you can wear this every day. I feel like it's not making my brows crunchy. Well, let me give it a second to set down and then I'll see. So this is supposed to have a long wear and a strong hold, but be conditioning for the brows. I can definitely see why it's conditioning. It feels like it's a little conditioning for the brows and it's setting down a little bit. It's not a crunchy hold, which I know some of you hate a crunchy hold, so. I think I like a crunchy hold, honestly. I used to not like it, but now I'm liking them. It kind of has like a gluey hold to it, you know, where it's not hard, but it's a little sticky. It's okay. Not mad at it. Already ready to move on to eyeshadow before we finish the rest of the complexion. I wanted to highlight an indie brand, one that I haven't talked about, but I feel like this palette is really good for those fall vibes that I was looking for. So this is from a brand called Gourmand Girls, and they worked with Doodles by the Bunny to create this spooked palette. And if you aren't following Doodles by the Bunny, she pretty much just envisions palettes in her head. She's an artist and she draws them out. She is so talented. If I had a makeup brand, I would definitely consult with her. And that's exactly what Gourmand Girls did, and they did an amazing job. So if you don't know, I really don't like Halloween. Halloween has gone and passed, but I feel like this palette had such good colors. So this is obviously a Halloween-themed palette, but don't need to just wear it on Halloween, guys. 
I think it's so fun, the embossments that it has. It's a beautiful curation. The colors make sense. It's easy to get a look with this. You have all of the base shades that you need, and then you have those fun pops. So I'm gonna do half an eye off camera and I'll be back. These are exactly the fall tones and fall vibes of an eye look that I was hoping to get with this palette. So let's dig in. It's very simple to do. A lot of times with these indie palettes that have good quality, it's just like one shade on the lid that does all the talking. So I'm gonna start off with Ghoul right here, just a white. Off camera, I did go through with a little bit of concealer underneath to give that fresh wax to look. So I'm just setting that right now with this white shade, which is very helpful for this look. And I love how it's gonna just brighten up underneath the brows right here. It's gonna help the look become more blended looking as well. Next, we're going into Scream right here, which is a pretty light green shade. But of course, it does have the fall undertones in there, kind of yellowy, mustardy. And I focus that in the outer corner. And then with whatever is left on my brush, I am blending it out just like so. These matte shadows don't have the most pigment to them, which depending on how you interpret it could be a good or bad thing, but I am having to build it up. Next up, we're gonna go into Spellbook right here. For this particular look, I wish that this brown had a little bit more depth because there's not a brown with a little bit more depth, but it's just for this look. That doesn't mean this is a bad color. I would say though, it could use a little bit more pigment to stand out against other shades that you put it with, but it's fine, it's working, no complaints. I'm going to go back into Scream, which is the green, because I don't want to lose that color. Refer number 13 brush, and I'm going into the black. This is a very, very good black. It's very easy to use. We're gonna use it as eyeliner towards the end of the look. So I'm circling it in the outer corner. And then once I have my brush with a little less product, then you're gonna kind of fill in the outer V with it. Then also just get it along the lash line as well. So this is a base that we're starting with. And if you're scared or feeling tentative, wipe off your brush because it's always better to have less product than you need. You can always go in and add more black and then focus on getting a nice blend, having this be a nice smoky base for the lid shade. But you can see why I love this black. It's very easy to use. It's not the blackest black, but that allows it to blend really nicely into these looks. And I'm even blending it along the lash line. Then at this point, if there's any colors you wanna bring back, like you might want to add a little bit more of that green base color, and then a little bit more of that brown base color, do so now. And then we're gonna go into the star of the show. We're gonna go into a trick right here, which looks like this. This applies with a finger the best. I did try it with a brush and it was a no-go. I don't even recommend trying it with a brush. It's a creamier feel, so it didn't pick up on the bristles. So the best thing to do is to use your finger to get the basic layout of where you want it and then go in with your brush and kind of spread it out to exactly where you want it. Now, the pros of using a brush is more precision on exactly where you want the color applied. So that's why I kind of smudged it on my eye and I'm using this brush to work it out. But when I dip it into the pan, it doesn't pick up on the brush. So this is the best application for me that worked for me, you know? We do need to clean up the outer corner again. So I'm taking my brush. Um, I'm gonna start off with no shadow on the brush. But I think I'm gonna add a little bit of black now, like a tiny bit, just to bring back that smoke. Okay, even along the lash line. Final step, obviously, before we do the lower lash line, I'm gonna take an angled brush and we're going into the matte black shade. And I've been like eyeshadow liner all the way lately. It's just so easy. Obviously, it's less intense, but if you have a good black, it gets the job done. So I'm just gonna put this along the upper lash line and I might do an inner corner wing after we get concealer down. We'll see where the look takes us. But yeah, this black is not bad at all as a liner, I feel like. It's quite black, actually. Pretty minimal fallout as well. So that's it 
for now for the eyes and eyeshadow. Now with a powder black, a lot of times I get a lot more fallout, not really with this shadow, which is another reason that makes it so nice. There is a little bit, so I am gonna go in with a wipe just to get that a little bit off because you don't want the black pigment mixing in with your concealer. That's just not a good look. <laughs> and this is why you wanna give your eye cream time to sit into the skin because if I put the eye cream on now, it wouldn't have time to soak in. So I'm gonna let that dry. For concealer today, I'm gonna use my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. It has great full coverage. So how you use it. You wanna put just like a dot of it on the palm of your hand and then use a finger to warm it up. And I'm just gonna press a dot underneath my eye. And then just for brightening purposes, we'll put right here and right here. I'm gonna use this small side on my number seven brush and we're going to pat this in. The key with under eye concealer that I don't always follow, but it is true when they say less can be more with concealer, especially if you pull out a more full coverage one. The idea is that it gives you full coverage without applying 30 layers. Press and push this in, work it out, take your time. And then to set, I'm gonna use the It Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish Airbrush Powder. I'm gonna use the number eight brush from It Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna set the center. Hmm, that left a very pretty blur to the skin. I like that. Okay, and then let's go back to the eyes before we finish the rest of the face. So for the lower lash line, I'm gonna start off with the dark green color. And I'm just gonna run this along the lower lash line. There's gonna be no surprises here. We're not going into any new colors or anything. And then I'm going for the gusto here. We're going into the black. And because I want this to be a little bit smoky, but not too smoky, I'm just running a light blend of the black along the lower lash line. Just like that, and I feel like that really pulled the whole look together. Moving back out to the face, Kaleidos just launched these new contour trios. They completely redid them and repackaged them, and I'm loving what they have going on. I'm using the Symphony Contour Trio in the shade Medium, which looks like this. I love this packaging so much more than the old packaging. I'm not gonna do anything crazy with contour today. I'm gonna start off with the lighter shade out here. Like I said, this is the medium and I'm focusing it right, you know, in the outer three of the face. This definitely has a coolness to it. It's not super warm. And get the jawline as well. And then for a little bit more depth in the contour, I'm gonna go into the deeper shade and then you just wanna put it in the areas that make the most difference, which is gonna be under the cheekbone. This is blending on really nice. I, I think I like this. And then also the jawline as well, especially like right here and right here. Then make sure everything is nice and blended. Be careful because these colors could make you look a little dirty if you're not careful. We're going into the light shade now and this is gonna clean us up. Add brightness back where you want it. So like the center of the face, right underneath the contour, wherever you want it pretty much. And then I'm going in also from Kaleidos with the Symphony Face Illuminator in the shade medium. I don't know, this doesn't seem to have a sheen on it, so I think it's just kind of another brightening powder, which we pretty much have already on the face, so I didn't do too much. And then last sort of color product that I'm throwing on my face is this blush. This is the Bye Bye Pores blush from It Cosmetics, and it's supposed to have like a poreless finish, and I have it in Je ne sais quoi, which is a very light baby pink, which maybe doesn't go the best with this look, but I wanna show you this formula. Just to be clear, it definitely looks brighter in person than it does through the camera. And I'm gonna get my It Cosmetics brush, and I'm just gonna lightly press this onto the skin, and it does have that kind of airbrushed finish to the skin. This is kind of like a baby doll pink, 
which is really good for that cold winter look which I'm doing. You see I'm putting it on my nose, like at the very tip, like I was just outside. And that's pretty. I want to set the face with the setting spray, so I'm gonna use the Patrice Ultra Last Fixing Spray. Oh, that has a strong mist. I haven't used this one yet. My face is damp. Well, let me get my fan. <laughs> The shift on my eyes, I can't stop looking at it, it's so pretty. Okay, and then finally, before the lips, for mascaras, how cute is this set that I found? This is from It Cosmetics, it's a mascara closet, and it has their best-selling mascaras, it's such a good deal, and then you literally, like, oh my gosh, wait a second! How cute, look at this packaging. Adorable, it's supposed to be like a little closet. So this set has three of their must-have mascaras. I picked this up because I wanted to try this Lash Blowout Mascara. I love the packaging of it. So let me pop this on my lashes really quickly. Huh, that actually instantly did a little something to my lashes. I don't have much, so it's not gonna look impressive. I'm pretty impressed with this mascara. I'm gonna put on some falsies and we will finish up this look with the lips. Lashes always, Velour Cloud 9. Now for lips, I pulled this kit from ColourPop. This is the Snitchery collaboration and it's a lip kit. So you get a lip liner and a lipstick. This one is in the shade Divine Feminine. And I feel like it's such a pretty color for fall. So I'm gonna use the lip liner in Scarlet Letter. Ignore my crusty looking lips. This has like a hint of orange to it, which is really pretty. And the ColourPop lip liners are just bomb for fall. And then I'm going to use the lippy stick in the shade Persephone. Oh, it's been a long time since I've used a lippy stick. What do we think? Very pretty, right? I mean, that's the look. Give me a second, let me pull my life together. And I'll be back to see you guys out. Here is the fall look all pulled together. It looks really good. You know, I'm vibing with the eyes, vibing with the fall lip. I'm feeling this, and this one wasn't necessarily orange, so I'm happy about that one. It looks so good, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, testing some new products, getting a nice full coverage fall makeup look out there. A huge thank you to It Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video and working with me. I will have all of the links to everything that I purchased down below and make sure you guys shop their sale. And then of course, Magic 35 you can use at checkout as well to save you 35%. I will have all of the details for the sale down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.